Thank you so much for watching today's replay of the February 10th Merrimack Tomahawks Ice Hockey versus Memorial Crusaders. Uh, my name is Nicholas Lavallee. I am the Town of Merrimack's Media Services Coordinator. Uh, Merrimack TV, whether you're watching on Merrimack TV Channel 21 or Merrimack TV's YouTube page or on your Roku or Apple TV device via Cablecast Screenweave. Thank you so much for watching today's game. And with that said, I'm going to let the real on-air talent have the stage, Mr. Andy Berkeley. Andy, thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Nick. Thanks for having me. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to Westside Arena for today's Division II Varsity High School hockey matchup, as Nick mentioned, between the Manchester Memorial Crusaders and your Merrimack Tomahawks. And I'm going to pause for a moment while the uh, rink announcer introduces the referees, and I'll be back with the starting lineups in a moment. And now the starting lineup for the Memorial Crusaders. Number three, Cody Boyce. Number 10, Brandon Burroughs. Number 23, Mac Tripp. Number 17, Ethan Wallington. And number 19, Brandon Murphy. And starting in goal, number 30, Landon Wilson. Now your starting lineup for the Tomahawks. Jason DeBocourt. Dominic Carroza. Dylan Sadowski, Joe Pillsbury, Elliot Medlock, and starting in goal for the Tomahawks, Ben Hardy.
and we are about ready for puck drop. The Crusaders come into this afternoon's contest with a 4 and 0 record. Tomahawks are 3 and 1 after suffering a loss at the hands of Dover a couple nights ago. So Nick, you'll be happy to know that uh, I did subscribe the other uh, the other night. I like hearing that, Andy. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely. And if yeah. you'd like to subscribe to Merrimack TV on YouTube, please do that. Just type in a URL, youtube.com slash Merrimack TV, or just search for Merrimack TV on the YouTube app. Subscribe. If you have a smart TV, it's great because it's you can right access YouTube on a smart TV. Right there. It's right there. So you can see content. We're usually meetings, some games are available less than a day after they've ended. Uh, hockey's a little bit different just because it's uh, recorded and uh, it's a slightly different hours than we normally would cover things, but we, we've generally got those up. We've gotten those up as quickly as two, three hours after a game, and uh, but generally, two, I'd say within, within three days, but it's rarely that long, but there's so much other content that we have on our YouTube channel as well. You know, a lot of meeting coverage, but then also uh, local news like our Merrimack moment All right. and Merrimack Puck in drop. motion segments. Check it out. And the Crusaders win the faceoff. Early shot by Cody Boyce blocked. Tomahawks trying to clear the zone. Pillsbury dumps it in, and they get a quick. Tomahawks get a quick change. Somebody blew a tire. That was Evan Roy. Crusaders dump, get, get a line change. Pass is intercepted. Ooh. Quick shot, saved by Hardy. Shot from the point, blocked in front. Tomox on the charge. Look like Evan Roy in the corner. Looking for a teammate. That pass is deflected. And we got a foot race. The Crusaders win that battle. Pass out to the point. Flipped in. By Wallington and Hardy able to get the glove on that one. Had a brief conversation with Coach Dan right before the game just to Catch up a little bit on the Dover game, and he expects that uh, this game will be very similar, similarly paced to the Dover game. So it should be a, an exciting contest, folks. Hope you're enjoying the replay. Burroughs gets chased out of the faceoff circle. Faceoff comes back to the Crusader blue line. Tomahawks trying to establish control. Quick shot. Blocked by Wilson. Shaders trying to work the puck. Broken up. And we have an offside. Burroughs and Medlock on the faceoff. Burroughs wins the draw. Puck goes into the corner. Medlock gives chase, looking to clear the puck. Stavowski can't control that. Shot on goal, steered away by Hardy.
That, another shot. Come over the blue line by Boyce. Steered away by Ben. Crusaders looking to establish control in the Tomahawk zone. Puck comes out. McIntyre's pass across to his defensive line mate. That puck hits Medlock as he was going in for a change. Hit him high. He's down on the bench. Well, you me. Shot goes wide. Roy circles. That puck goes off a defenseman's stick and Wilson able to get the glove on that one. Stop play. Oh, nice shot. And a save by Wilson. Couldn't see if that was Medlock or Kyle Dunn with that shot through traffic. I do hope Elliott's okay, though. Probably shocked him more than anything else. He was getting ready to get off the ice, and that puck caught him right up in the right up in the mask. And the faceoff is going to come all the way down the Tomahawk zone to the the left of Ben Hardy. Puck comes out to the point. Shaders trying to establish control. Another puck in the corner. Pass out to the point. Oh, Tomahawks are on a penalty. Oh, and Miner's off for two minutes. I, I don't know what I missed. I apologize for that, folks. Tomahawks are on the kill. Burroughs is passed, intercepted. Volumi trying to press in. Him and Evan Roy being a little pesky. Crusaders enter the zone. That shot by Boyce goes wide. And then Hardy's able to corral a shot from his left. By Boyce again. Tomahawk's able to get the puck out of their zone. Crusaders will look to Gain the zone again. And the puck comes out. You got a foot race, Murphy. Carroza. Long pass to Boyce. Pillsbury able to neutralize him. Put Caroms back into the Crusader zone while they have to start all over again. Carrozo trying to play some defense. McIntyre wheeling and dealing. And then that shot goes off the boards and comes back to center ice. Murphy trying to pass across. Broken up by Carrozo. Puck goes into the corner. Tom Hawks are at full strength. Oh. Miner just missed that opportunity. The Bocart clearing pass all the way around. Comes out. Shaders dump the puck into the Tomahawk zone. The Bocart back in his corner. Backhand off the boards, trying to clear the puck. And we got Roy. Well, Yumi on the side. Oh, that pass just off his tape. And he fans on a shot as he was trying to circle around. Yes, 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 yes. 
Crusaders on the on the press. Boyce coming down the right side. He's broken up by Dunn. Kyle Dunn with the puck behind his net. Goes off the boards. Up to Gualayumi. Can't clear the zone. Now they do. Just missed Evan Roy. And they wave off the ice. Medlock intercepted that pass after coming over the boards. No ice on that dump in. Looks like Burroughs getting worked. The Volcourt lit somebody up on his way through. Couldn't complete the pass. Breakout, one on one. What a save by Hardy! Colin Fields stepped right around the defender. Metlock in the corner, takes a shot. High off the glass. Pass intercepted. Oh! That looked like a Gualayumi backhander. He couldn't get a whole lot on it, but. Oh, we have a penalty. Miner able to draw the penalty. We have a cross check. Brandon Murphy will go. Go off for two minutes. Tomahawks will have their first power play of the game. They were able, able to kill off their earlier penalty. Let's see what they can do now with the uh, man advantage. If you're wondering at home if it's chilly in this arena, it is. <laughs> that it is. Just had to put my jacket back on. I'd have to put the hat on next. Crusaders win the, win the draw. And they're able to clear their zone. Ledlock intercepts at center ice. Skates around behind the net. Puck out to Sadowski. Oh, Carroza just missed. Medlock shot. Off the shin guard of Burroughs. Shot. Oh, save. Wilson. Roy with a nice wrister. Wilson able to come up with a stop. Crusaders again win the draw. Puck comes in tight. Oh, Medlock. Medlock shot blocked by McIntyre. The Crusaders are able to send the puck all the way down Tomahawk area territory, excuse me. Headlock. Roy. Oh, somehow the puck gets through Sadowski. Oh. 
Fields had a breakaway. And we've got a call of interference. No? So we have an interference call? Or are we going to have a, a penalty shot? So they called Medlock. For hooking, so Fields is going to have a penalty shot on Hardy. Hardy stayed, stayed true. Able to deflect that shot with his blocker. Tomahawks will remain on the power play for another 36 seconds. Tomahawks win the draw. Look like Medlock and McIntyre. Gualayumi. Gual. Gualumi, excuse me. Was in a foot race. Some of the folks here are not pretty happy with that call, but. That is hockey. Tom Hawk still pressing. The ball court able to keep the puck in the zone. Oh, Medlock just couldn't get the stick. Oh, nice. The ball court able to keep the puck in the zone. Crusaders are back at full strength. And now we've got another penalty. And Medlock's going to go for two. Tripping is the call. Tomahawks find themselves on another penalty kill. McIntyre is chased out of the faceoff circle. Tomahawks win the draw. Oh, they're not able to clear the zone. Shot by Murphy goes wide. And the puck is cleared. Murphy chased down by Roy. He's able to backhand it to his teammate. Crusaders trying to set up their power play. Evan with the interception. Shoot. Oh, nice save. Kind of handcuffed Wilson. Crusaders trying to get something going. Checked by Miner. Oh, nice stick check. And Tomahawk's able to clear the zone. Connor Dunn with a nice stick check there. Look at, oh, Miner's pass was intercepted. 
Oh, nice defensive play. Dunn with a nice defensive play and a quick rush. And we have an icing call. As the Crusaders dump in play once untouched by a teammate of all on the boards. Tomahawk's able to get some good pressure shorthanded. Tomahawk's won the draw. Back to the point. Shot all oh, off the side of the net by Dillon. Dillon tried to wrap around backhand. Out to Medlock. Medlock shot. Goes wide. Tomahawk still working in the zone. Carroza giving chase. Sadowski able to intercept that clearing attempt. Charge back into the Crusader zone. McIntyre coming down his pass. A little too far for Burgess. And we have, oh, oh, nice defensive play by Murphy. Medlock would have just been all alone. And we have another stoppage of play. Tomahawks are now back at full strength. Possibly offsides. Medlock goes into the Lucas Tafe's midsection. He's able to skate in. Tomahawk's looking to clear, and they do. DeVoe Court loses the puck behind his net. Oh, centering pass. Just too far. Roy jostling. And we have a breakaway. Medlock. He shoots, oh, save Wilson. Tom Ox looking to press again. Gualumi, oh. Medlock was just a stride ahead of Gualumi. Tom Ox called for the offside. Crusaders won the faceoff. Intercepted by Dunn. Dumped back into the Crusaders zone. That was an interesting pass right through the paint. Crusaders struggling to get the puck out of their zone, and they do. And that looks like that's going to go. No, they wave off the icing. Dunn back to retrieve the puck. Passes up the boards. Centering pass. Miner. Cardroza. Miner Cardroza scores! Oh, Owen Miner with a beautiful pass. Right on the tape. Cardroza just one times that in. Wilson had no chance. And the Tomahawks take an early, well, I should say a late first period lead. Beautiful pass by Miner. Nice heads up play by that young man. Sayers won the draw. Can't clear their zone. 15 seconds left in the period. Carroza going at it with someone in the corner. That shot by Dunn. Misses the mark. 
Tomahawks looking to get the buck center puck. Oh, Carrozza with the backhand just goes wide. And that's the sound of the buzzer, folks. At the end of the first period, Tomahawks one, Crusaders nothing. Thanks for watching the replay on Merrimack TV channel 21. Whether you're watching on Merrimack TV's YouTube channel or channel 21 itself, or perhaps you've downloaded Cablecast Screenweave and you're watching on-demand content there. Thanks so much for, for following Merrimack TV on social media as well. You can find us on Twitter, at Merrimack TV. Find us on Facebook. Just search for Merrimack TV. That's Jordan Walyumi volunteering his time today. Provide some in-house music during the game. Also, he gave the pre-game announcements. Jordan Walyumi. If I could get his attention, we'd have him give us a wave, but I don't think it's going to happen. Good. How are you? All the Merrimack Tomahawks fans are here today. Andy Berkeley is back. Andy, once again, thank you so much for being here, volunteering your time to provide play-by-play. -play. It is it is my privilege. It, it is such a pleasure to be able to do this and be around a sport that i grown up playing and watching and you know just being a, a huge fan and so this is great this is great you know i had the opportunity we lived in vermont for a for just shy of eight years and uh, a bunch of the guys that i skated with up there 
Uh, one of them happened to be a sports broadcaster for uh, one of the local community radio stations. And he had the gig of doing high school, boys and girls high school hockey. And uh, lo and behold, he needed a, a color guy and ended up uh, for a season and a half being his color guy and got to see some phenomenal hockey. We, uh, we did the, the boys uh, championship game um, at the, uh, the UVM Fieldhouse, the gut, I believe it is, Gutterson Fieldhouse. And uh, it was Colchester against Harwood Union. Never forget this game. It was a double overtime game, 0-0. Colchester won it and uh, it was a heartbreaker because we we skated with all the guys from all the coaches from Harwood Union we skated on their home ice that's when that's where our guys we, we would when we did our weekly skate and uh, so we got to know the the coaches the, the, the some of the players would skate um, just what, I just love the game what age did you start playing hockey I was six when oh, I okay. actually when I actually started playing I always wanted to be a goaltender um, started out in you know first my first season and a half I was a I was a player and a horrible skater and then uh, and then lo and behold a team needed a goaltender a team called the Islanders we were gray never forget it <laughs> and uh, and modest apparently oh my gosh man it was I remember getting my first blocker and trapper they were they were youth i mean I, I look back and they were so small you know but they're the old school waffle and yeah i mean this is this, this is early 70s right not that i'm giving away my age or anything <laughs> like that <laughs> well you're um, how old are you now it's 28 29, yeah, 29 <laughs> going on 30 oh man so uh i you know what i i mean i remember as a kid i had the you know, I had the privilege of growing up in Canada, and uh, I remember when I was a little guy sitting on my dad's lap watching Hockey Night in Canada. That's back when the uh, hockey was the original six, before, um, before, right? you know, well, they had their first expansion, um, so it was 12 teams by then, but uh, oh my gosh. And that, that mask, the guy behind the mask, so I was so intrigued by that guy. And, you know, back then you had goaltenders like Ken Dryden, Jerry Cheevers, Rogi Vachon, um, Bernie Perrant for the Flyers. I mean, these guys in the masks, and then they started painting masks, and you know, and they were the guys who were on the ice the whole time. And I was just so enamored with those guys, and I, I, I always wanted to do that. And you know, I'm still, still in decent shape, and you know, albeit if it wasn't for you know everything going on in the world today i'd be skating with uh with the guys but um that hasn't happened so well at least you're here absolutely doing play by play for the guys skating right absolutely <laughs> so we're thankful that andy berkeley's volunteering his time for this and uh tonight we have uh similarly brian gagnon will be covering our basketball game i think we got a girls game against nashua north titans not to be confused with the Nashua North Sauhegan Titan Sabres. I think I got that right. You did. If you watched the last hockey game, you saw, I think, both of us struggling with that a little bit. Unique team names this season. You got well, Manchester uh, it's, Central it's, West. Well, I, you know, in, for some sports, you, you see, I, I think it's nice, you know, the hockey community um, is pretty tight-knit, and so you, you see programs – you know, sharing players, sharing resources, um, so that these kids can play and field teams and and and, and have that high school uh, athletic experience. And so we've seen a number of teams. I mean, North, um, you know, working with uh, Sauhegan South, Nashua South, I believe, is uh, got a team with Pelham. Um, there are a few other teams around the divisions for high school hockey where you've got two communities coming together. I was trying to get Jordan Walyumi, our vol the volunteer doing the uh, annou in-house announcements. I was trying to get him to wave on camera when you took your break, Andy, and I ah. could not get his attention. <laughs> and I was trying, but he was so deep in thought over there. So that's, that's Jordan. 
if we could get him to wave, you know, it'd be, uh, I think it'd be pretty impressive. Absolutely. Maybe he needs glasses. He doesn't see me waving my arms. Maybe he thinks I'm dancing, waiting for his music to begin. Or maybe he's, he thinks you're just trying to stay warm. That's true. <laughs> this heat lamp doesn't seem as hot today. I don't know. No, I, I think you're right, <laughs> Nick. I think you're right. Right? Normally it's a bit warmer for us, but this thing, either it's just so cold in here, it's not giving off any heat. So for you uh, hockey statisticians at home, I was able to go back and, uh, like I mentioned earlier, subscribe to Merrimack TV. And while I was, after I did that, I went back, was able to uh, watch the Goffstown game again on the big screen this time. And boy, did I miss a lot of assists, a lot of points. So uh, in between the, the uh, second and third period, I will recap the unofficial stats as I have tallied and uh, bring you guys up to speed on some of that. And uh, also give you, uh, after one, two, three games, not including the, the Dover game, um, what the, the points look like and who the scoring leaders are thus far for the 2021 Tomahawks. Just in case you missed it, brief recap of the first period with a little under a minute to go. We had Carroza with the first goal of the game, assisted by Miner. Beautiful pass by Owen out of the corner. Caught Carroza streaking through the, through the middle. He's able to put the stick on that pass and put that past Wilson, who other than that was outstanding in the first period. All right, and we're ready for puck drop, start, period two. Central controls the face off. Somehow the puck ends up on Owen Miner's stick. He's looking to clear his zone, can't do that. Tomahawk's able to start the attack. Carroza gets around the defender. Shoot. Oh, save. Didn't look like he got good wood. Tried to lift that over Wilson. Crusaders dump the puck to Bocourt. Able to reel that in. Pass it up the boards to Sadowski. He clears the zone. Throws his pass. Intercepted. Oh. And the Tomahawks are called for offside. So one of the players was trying to exit on a line change. So he's on the face off. Pressing the attack, Roy at the right side, skates around a defender, wheels behind the net, looking for a teammate. Passes out to the point. That was done, he shoots and scores! Goal Yumi! Oh, I'll have to, I missed part of that. I'll have to see that replay again. Less than a minute and a half into the second period, Tomahawks double up their lead, two to nothing. On a beautiful goal by Braden Gualyumi. Thanks for watching today's replay on Merrimack TV. Merrimack TV is accessible on Comcast Channel 21 or in HD at MerrimackTV.com. You can also download the Cablecast ScreenWeave app to your Roku or Apple TV device. You can watch our three channels live 24-7, and also we 
upload on-demand content there as well. So check that out. And thanks for subscribing to us on YouTube. Had a situation with Mac Tripp over in front of the Crusaders bench. Somehow looks like he got his stick stuck, stuck somewhere. And he looks like he's a little nicked up. How many more home games do we have left to the season, Andy? I believe we have two more after this one. Just a couple, okay. We have um, Bo's the last home game, and I have Keen and then Bo, I believe. Memorial coach having words with one of the referees. Merrimack Tom. TV will be covering the re wrestling meet this Saturday, February 13th. That'll be live on Channel 21 and available on demand shortly thereafter. Crusaders looking to gain the Tomahawk zone, and they do. Blocked in the corner. Looked like that was Pillsbury. Miner, Sadowski, his shot goes wide. Done able to keep the puck in off of Carroza. Carroza, shot scores! Owen Miner picked up the rebound, able to backhand that over Wilson. And the Tomahawks are up 3 0. Owen Miner having a, him and Carroza are having a game. Andy, when we're covering basketball games and they're live, the Tomahawks fans will usually tweet or post on our Facebook page, flame emojis. Flame emojis. <laughs> so I, I think we just got a couple flame emojis on that one. Oh my. So if you're watching the replay and you want to hit us up on social media, just say you're watching the hockey game and put a couple flame emojis, we'll know what you're talking about. Absolutely. <laughs> Medlock stepped in, snapped a wrist shot. Jessica Tate, that's a, that's a reference to Jessica Tate. She's a Tomahawks fan in Manchester. She's always dropping flame emojis. Oh, really? Yeah. Sorry for cutting you off there. Oh, you're Andy. good, you're good. <laughs> Hardy, chase, chase that puck down. Crusaders weren't able to work on that odd man break that they had. Not able to clear the zone. Oh, pucks is loose in front. Players are hacking at it. Crusaders, oh, odd man rush. Three on one, shoot. Oh, goal by the Crusaders. Oh, Ben got a piece of that one. Couldn't tell, couldn't tell who actually netted that goal, but that was Cody Boyce who was Streaking down the left side. Tafe gets chased out of the face-off circle. His shot. I'm sorry, that was Adam Hood with that shot. Glove down by Hardy. Sabre is able to whittle that lead. Get it back within two. Centering pass comes off of Hardy's stick. Carosa dumps it in the corner. Him and Miner give chase. Sadowski in the corner. Gets bumped by a Crusader player. Pillsbury with a shot, Pad, padded away by Wilson. Now we got some bodies flying all over the place. Tom Hawks looking to set up their attack. Carrozza's pass intercepted. Uh, 
by McIntyre. Puck ends up back in the Crusader zone. Sadowski able to keep it in, dump it behind the net. Looks like Kyle Dunn. Shot goes off a of body. Comes out to the blue line. Throws it on the attack. Able to dump it in. Nice pass. Colin Fields shot goes off of defenseman wide. Crusaders get a quick change. He's done, tried to weave his way through to players. Out to Roy, he scores! Evan Roy! Holy cow! Can that kid grip it and rip it? Oh my goodness! That thing came out of the twine as fast as it went in, folks. What a beautiful goal. He picked that spot and oh my goodness, Wilson had no chance. I don't know if the heat lamps kicked on or if that was just more flame emojis. It must have been the flame emojis, <laughs> I'm telling you, Nick. Wow. That just an, like that. That was a nice one, for sure. Just like that, Tomahawks get that three goal lead back. Tom Hawks looking to get back into the Crusader zone. That clearing attempt hits a body. McIntyre down the left side, centering pass. Comes out to the point. Oh, and that shot hit Gualumi. Braden's hurt. Oh, my goodness. Couldn't tell if that was Boyce. With the blast from the point, Gualiumi took that low. Has to be helped off the ice. I am so glad we record these games and we can go back. Well, I can go back and watch them again. You will definitely go back and watch I them again. I will definitely go back and That's watch them. That's what this. makes Andy such a professional. He, 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 not only does he prep for game day itself, he likes to go back. He likes to watch the games beforehand. Right when I showed up, he said, hey, Nick, I watched this game. I watched this game. He's, Pull the stats. He, we're lucky to have him. Merrimack is very lucky to have Andy step up to the plate. Step into the rink. What would be a good hockey analogy for that? <laughs> Step into the rink. Step into the rink. He stepped into the rink to do this. Tom Hawks with a face off. And we are not putting him in the penalty box. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Miner up the right side. Trying to, oh, oh. And he gets dumped. Looked like Fudala. Took down Miner as he was trying to trying to dance around him, and he'll spend two minutes in the penalty box for interference. Tomahawks will go on their third power play. Crusaders win the draw. McIntyre tries to clear it. He's able to get that puck back. Now he skates in, trying to dance around. Stick check by Sadowski. Fields able to keep that puck in the zone. 
Redlock begins the charge. Gets around. Couple Crusaders. Puck goes into the corner. Tom Ox looking to start. Puck intercepted. Now we got a two on one. Oh, nice defensive play. Sadowski just able to get a skate on it, and his pass was just too far for his line mate. Tom Hux called for icing. Sitters get some fresh legs on the ice. Tom Ox win the draw. Headlock able to dump the puck in. Fend off a check by Burgess. Roy at the point. Shoots. Oh, Wilson was definitely ready for that one. Nice glove save. Tom Ox won the draw, not able, to, not able to keep it in the zone. Tom Ox is going to get a line change. With just under a minute left on the power play. Miner wins the draw. The full court back. Just out of the reach of Caffrey. Oh. Pillsbury. Pass goes off a minor. Hyam. And that puck goes up. And Hardy. Able to gather that. Tomox looking to clear their zone. Roy, Sadowski, back to Roy. Crosses the zone. Shot by Caffrey. Puck squibs around in front. Crusaders able to clear. Pillsbury retrieves the puck. Passes it up to Sadowski. Crusaders are back at full strength. Murphy behind his net. Oh, nice move. Oh! McIntyre's attempt. Goes wide. Puck back in the Crusaders zone. We're going to press attack. McIntyre lays. Oh! McIntyre takes a liberty there on Pillsbury after he hit him once. As Joe was attempting to get back to his feet, McIntyre hit him again. And he's going to spend two minutes in the sin bin. I believe roughing will be the call. Just like that, Tomahawks are back on the power play. Hopefully they can get this one together and uh, do a little damage. Roy wins the draw. Back to the point. Over to Medlock. Medlock shot. Save Wilson. Saw that. A couple sticks were trying to deflect that on its way in.
Tomox able to keep the zone. Kyle Dunn behind the net. Carroza out to Medlock. Medlock shoots. Oh! Pad save Wilson. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no. Fields, breakaway. Oh, oh! And he scores. Shorthanded. Medlock just lost his edge and could not gather himself to retrieve that puck because it just got right by him and feels on a breakaway just able to get the puck under the sprawling pad of Hardy. Crusaders cut the lead in half. Oh, and that's a hook right there, and the refs let that one go. Game's getting a little chipper. Refs don't do something about it sooner than later. Could get a little interesting. Tomahawks really pressing the attack now. Cycling the puck. Oh, Roy fans on that one-timer. Able to keep it in the zone. Done. Chases that puck down. Carroza. Medlock. Centering pass. Comes off the boards. Sadowski, and then the puck is cleared. Burgess chasing down Roy. 33 seconds left in the power play. Roy's pass up to Medlock. Intercepted by Tripp. Oh no, and here we go again, folks. Two on none. Oh! Oh! Burroughs is robbed by Hardy with the big glove save. Thirteen seconds left on the power play. Tomahawks win the draw. Hand pass. Oh. Well, Yumi back on the ice. Chases the puck down. Passes to Medlock. Oh, off the skate of a defender. And then that puck hits off of a Crusader. Comes out in the neutral zone. Crusaders are back at full strength. Fields. Behind the net. Tries a centering pass. Comes to the point. Shot. Oh, hits Fields. Fudala with a big blast that hit Fields. Puck ricocheted around and then referees blew the whistle dead. And we have a high stick. A high stick call against the Crusaders which will result in a face-off down to the right of Wilson. Tom Hawks win the face-off. Oh, pad save on a blast from Valyumi. I take that back. That must have been, that was done with the shot, with that slap shot. Tom Hawks maintain the zone. Valyumi, his wrister, low. Medlock, deflection. Love the side by Wilson. Tom Hawks still pressing. All Guayumi fans still maintains the zone. Pass in front. Medlock to Roy. Saved by Wilson, and then we got a little extracurricular activities going on there. Looks like Wallington is going to spend two minutes in the box for roughhousing and exchanging some words with Mr. Medlock. Oh, we got two going. And Adam Hood is going to accompany his teammate in the box.
Not sure what we've got for calls here, folks. Scorekeeper has hooed up on the... Uh, in lights for two minutes. Looks like the Crusaders take a timeout. Tom Ox will be on a power play. I believe this is their fifth of the contest. Sitters win. Win the draw. Not able to clear the zone. Dunn's attempt. Gets Dunn down. Oh, no. Kyle Dunn. It's going to go for for interference as both players were attempting to escape for the puck. Parker Burgess showing a burst of speed. Able to draw the penalty. Neutralizes the Tomahawk power play. Both teams will skate four on four. That shot goes off a stick and high and wide. Centering pass intercepted. Carroza skating in, trying to beat the defender. Gets hauled down, still gets a shot off. Oh, and the puck came loose. And Sadowski, oh, his backhand goes through the paint. Tomahawk still cycling the puck down low. Crusaders able to exit the zone. Oh! That was Dimitri Alexander ringing the iron. And that shot by Boyce. Goes off a stick. Take that back. I'm not sure if that was Alexander with that shot or if that was McIntyre. I'll have to catch that on the replay. Both teams change lines. Just over two minutes left in the second. Tomahawks clear their zone. Budalas. Not able to corral that puck in and goes all the way down behind his net. Tom Hawks. Oh, Miner with another opportunity on the doorstep. Another shot by Miner and a save by Wilson. Murphy. Shot in on Hardy. Easily gloved by Ben. Tom Ox with a nice little flurry there. That puck was ping-ponging all over the blue paint in Wilson's neck of the woods. Medlock gets chased out of the face-off dot. Call you in, wins a draw. Tom Hawks not able to clear the zone. And they do. Puck off the skate of Fudala. Gets the pass. Shoots across. Fudala to Murphy.
Murphy to McIntyre. McIntyre dumps the puck in behind the net. Tomahawk's looking to clear the zone. McIntyre's pass attempt. Goes wide. Puck finds its way out to Fudala. He gets a shot in on Hardy, able to get the stick on it, make the save. Tomahawks change lines. Both teams back at even strength. Quick shot, saved by Hardy. Sater's pressing again. And the puck comes out. Oh, Carroza, minor. Oh, just a little bit out of his reach. Miner's, he shoots. Oh, at the post! And that puck. By a shot by DeBocourt goes off a Crusader stick up into the netting. Wow, what an awesome bid. Crusaders called for a penalty. Not sure who number 11 is. I don't see them on the, uh, the player sheet. Players looking to center, center pass. And the Crusaders score shorthanded. Oh, I take that back. No, they were at even strength. I apologize. I think that was Brandon Burroughs with that goal. The way he's hooting and hollering. Just like that, folks. Tomahawk's lead is cut down to one. With just under four seconds, just over four seconds left in the second. Tomox win the face off. Dump the puck. And the horn sounds. And at the end of two, Tomox are holding on to a lead of one goal by the score of four to three. Thanks for watching today's replay of the Merrimack Tomahawks taking on Memorial Crusaders on Merrimack TV. Whether that's our YouTube channel, Channel 21 in Merrimack, or if you're watching on a Roku or Apple TV device via Cablecast Screen Weave. Thanks so much. Make sure to follow us at Merrimack TV on Twitter or find Merrimack TV on Facebook. Give us a like, give us a follow, let us know what you like seeing on Merrimack TV. We do have uh, three channels, public education and government. You're watching this on the education channel or in the education channel shows folder on a streaming device. There's so many ways to watch Merrimack TV now, Andy. There are. It's probably confusing, but we want to be everywhere. We want people to be able to access public access. Well, the thing is in today's day and age, Nick, uh, people have so many different avenues for tapping into information absolutely I mean, and and so we, we want to be part of that absolutely so absolutely uh, i really like the streaming app on uh roku uh, and apple tv because it's in hd it's on uh, you can put it on your big tv uh, and you can watch live. So some of the content we have is live. Like our board and committee meetings are live and our basketball games are live. We did try to go live from the west side here, but 
just wasn't going to work out with the infrastructure that's in place. But uh, I should give Janet from Manchester Parks and Rec Department a big shout out because she was super helpful in helping us try to make that happen. But since we couldn't go live, next best thing was at least record them, have a professional play-by-play -play announcer here <laughs> with Andy Berkeley. You're too kind, and, Nick. Uh, You're too kind. Can watch these games in so many different ways. So thank you so much for watching. Let your friends know. Have them follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You know, so we, we've been... Hit the, hit the subscribe button. That's right. Smash that subscribe button. Right? That's what the kids say. <laughs> We've got a live concert next Wednesday, February 17th. We're going to be working with uh, Patricia Cunningham in the Merrimack High School Music Department. Select performances from, I think, a jazz ensemble and a couple other configurations of the band. I'm looking forward to covering that. I think that's going to be a big event for us. I think it, technically it's our, well, it's our second live music uh, program, but uh, it's the first where there's, you know, full band and instruments and stuff like that. So looking forward to showing you that next Wednesday, February 17th, Channel 21. I think we'll go live at 7 o'clock, but if you follow us on social media, we'll keep you up to date on that. Andy, I think you were going to go over some of those stats that you revisited from last week, right? I'll just, I, I am. I'll just hang silently in the background and, and let you I do will. what you do best, Andy. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. So, uh, fortunately, I haven't been able to uh, view or get access to the Dover game to get highlights of that. So that I might be challenged on getting the stats on that game. But going back to the Nashua North Sauhegan game, we had uh, two players with three points. Evan Roy led the scoring with two goals and an assist. Elliot Medlock had a goal and two assists. Owen Miner had a goal. Dylan Sadowski also netted a goal. And Dominic Carroza and Kyle Dunn both picked up assists as well. Going back to the Goffstown game, as Nick and I were talking about earlier, uh, I missed a whole bunch of points in that game. That's the challenge of trying to watch a hockey game on your, t on your phone instead of putting it on the big screen, Nick, I'll tell you. So uh, out of that game, Elliot Medlock had five points, scoring the hat trick and netting two assists. Uh, Braden Wall Yumi had two points, a goal and an assist. Uh, Owen Miner had a goal and assist. Dylan Sadowski had a goal and assist. Connor Dunn had two assists. Kyle Dunn had an, ass an assist. And um, yeah, that, that, that pretty much captures that. In terms of through three games, uh, your points leader thus far this season is Elliot Medlock with 11 points, six goals, and five assists. Um, Braden. Well, Yumi and Evan Roy are tied with five points apiece. Well, Yumi has four goals and an assist, and Roy has three goals and two assists. Two beautiful goals in that Nashua North game. Holy smokes. And then another goal tonight. What a beautiful goal. What a great release. Uh, Dominic Carroza has four points. Owen Miner has four points. Uh, Owen has three goals and an assist. Dominic has a goal and three assists. Dylan Sadowski also has four points, three goals and an assist. Joe Pillsbury and Connor Dunn each have two assists apiece. Kyle Dunn has a goal and an assist. And Jason DeBolcourt has one assist thus far on the season. In terms of goaltending, Hardy has faced, again, all these are unofficial stats, folks, um, by my tally. Over the three games, 82 shots and made 75 saves. So for you hockey statisticians out there, just a brief recap on uh, what transpired. Like I said, if I can get access to uh, the game in Dover, I'll definitely uh, definitely provide those, uh, those stats as well. Um, but also 
go back and watch this game and pull the stats from this game and be able to update you during our next broadcast, which I think is next week sometime. I think it's even I think it's Saturday, a week from Saturday. I think we got a little bit of a a little bit of time off before our next uh, our next home game against Keene. And then uh, I believe that following Wednesday we wrap up Saturday uh, the, the 20th season. the 20th is a game against uh, Keene is Keene. And then the 24th I believe is uh, the last home game uh, Bo comes to visit. So you got it. You know that schedule better than I do. Well you know I just spent a little time on there you know trying to figure things out. Although looking I, at, looking I, at other teams, looking at stats, trying to get an idea, try to be a little educated, as they say. I love it. I think uh, I'm going to be cutting it close personally going to tonight's basketball game. Yeah. A 15 minute period. I, I'll probably just I'll probably just make it in time for tonight's basketball game I think you will <laughs> yeah I think you will maybe I'll text someone and say hey can you just play the national anthem three or four times <laughs> <laughs> All right. other ways to stall let them warm up a little bit longer why not right. exactly maybe someone else can provide some pre-show entertainment have we gotten any feedback on uh, on the, the, the hockey broadcast or anything like that? I just uh, I see how many views it has, and I'm I'm awfully impressed. I mean, people are watching. I know. Uh, it's you know not that the agriculture commission isn't that exciting, but if uh, you go to the YouTube page, I mean, we have the the sports seem to have significantly more plays than the meeting coverage, so. I know in talking to uh, Chuck, the coach of uh, Memorial, before the game briefly uh, and trying to get a, a secure a lineup f for the Crusaders, he mentioned that he was on and watched some of the games. Oh, great. Yeah. Obviously doing his homework. Right. Probably, yeah. But, I mean, each, each game that we have, each have a couple hundred views. So, oh, yeah. Um, and that's, you know, in a matter of days. Uh, I'm sure the players are watching themselves. I'm sure families of the players are watching from different areas of the country. So like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And if you're listening to this and you're, you're thinking to yourself, well, I watch the basketball games live to give shout outs. I'd happily give people shout outs if they uh, tweeted us that they're they're hockey fans. They're watching the hockey games. They, they you know, and that they're fans of Andy Berkeley's commentating. You know, they, <laughs> I'll throw some flame emojis their way as well. Appreciate that. I wonder if we we'll hear from Jessica tonight at a Jessica Tate tonight at tonight's basketball game, and when she says flame emojis, sunglass emoji, and then several flame emojis. A lot of flame emojis going on with this hockey team. Those, those first three goals were pretty awesome. Yeah, but the Crusaders uh, not willing to let this one go. And oh. they're making a game of it. Third period ought to be pretty exciting. This might be the most ex exciting game of the season so far in, ter in terms of scoring, playing. It seemed to be fairly fairly matched team. The energy here is, is something... A little different than usual. Both teams are uh, getting a little chippy and seeing some bodies fly and some words exchanged. We saw a penalty shot tonight. Holy smokes. I don't think we've seen one yet. Not it's yet. Not I mean. At a home game at least. But I don't think we have. And if you're a Memorial Crusaders fan watching today's replay, thanks. Go ahead, like that, like and follow Merrimack TV on social media. Next time we're playing Memorial, you can you'll be notified. We'll probably be covering that game as well. So, 
Shout out to all my friends and family in Manchester. Crusaders win the faceoff. Start the third. Intercepted. Roy down the left hand side. Shot goes off the defenseman. Crow's able to corral that. Back to DeBow court. Pillsbury backhands it in. Sadowski gives chase behind the, the net. Crusaders come away with the puck. Oh! That shot. Off the shoulder of Hardy. Evan Roy got in the way of that shot. By Tripp. And now Tripp's chasing the puck down. Murphy's pass. Oh, let's take that back. That was Burroughs. Pass from Boyce. Intercepted. Puck goes through the neutral zone. Cam Hyam. Getting a little physical. And the puck gets dumped into the Tomahawk zone. They clear it out. Fields. Shot. McIntyre with the shot. Saved by Hardy. A lot of action going on here early. Well, you mean. They will clear the puck. That was a long shot in on Hardy. Able to knock it aside. Tomahawks looking to clear the puck. Can't get the puck deep. Crusaders rattle that off the, the boards. McIntyre. Murphy. Skating through. Oh! Backhander. Saved by Hardy. I think that was Fields. Wills, shot blocked in front. Tomahawks looking to press. Carroza. Roy gets dumped in front. Back. Sadowski with a wraparound, tried the backhander, didn't go. To the point. Pillsbury's shot. Goes just wide. Roy pushes it over to Carroza. Back to Pillsbury. Backhands it in. Intercepted. Oh, nice play. Joe cut off that ricochet pass off the boards. Crusaders behind the net. Try to regroup. Pillsbury intercepts. That puck just goes wide of Wilson. Done. Can't corral that. Takes fields into the boards. Pucks goes around the, the Tomahawks. Goal. Done. To Roy. Snuffed out by the Crusaders who look to regroup. Pass comes out. Fields. Off the boards. Chased around by Kyle Dunn. Looks to clear the puck. Oh, that pass intercepted by McIntyre. And then broken up by Dunn. Medlock dumps it in. Oh! Oh, my goodness! Wally Yumi. 
intercepted that pass just outside the blue line, brought it in. Tomahawks were called for offsides. And then McIntyre took liberties with Gual Yumi, hit him high. Braden looks like he, like he got the worst of that one. Tom Hawks will go on, on yet another power play. McIntyre has been two minutes in the box for roughing. Roy wins the draw. Oh, his centering pass. Medlock out of, just out of the reach of Medlock. Sadowski's pass to Medlock. Enters the zone. Looking to set something up. Broken up in the corner. Tom Hawks retained control of the puck. Looking to set up their power play. Cycle on the puck. Sadowski's shot. Ricochets wide. Chase into the corner. It's a Carroza. Out to the point. That one timer wide. Puck came in on Wilson. He scores! Oh, and the refs wave off the, the goal. We had a delayed whistle. Don't know if the puck was still live or not. The refs lost sight. Now Dylan's having a conversation with the referee. And the goal is waved off. Tom Ox, the minute 18 left on the power play, win the face off. Oh. Medlock not able to keep that. Oh, that was Medlock not able to keep that puck in the zone. Grills time, one timer out in front or pass attempt. Went wide. Burgess. We're just getting scrappy over there. Got Chipper, the rest didn't call anything, and then Sadowski gets called. A little retaliation action. Oh no, he is gonna go. So we're gonna have matching penalties to Sadowski and Burgess. Looks like the Tomahawks will Stay on the power play for another 50 seconds. And we have three Crusaders in the penalty box on their side. For various indiscretions, shall we say. Fields on that. Oh, and Crusaders able to clear the puck. That was Boyce, excuse me. Pass up to Medlock. Skates in. Can't get past McIntyre. Yet. Oh, Roy rings the post. Pillsbury. Clears the puck, dumps the puck in. Oh, short side attempt, goes wide. Pillsbury's pass over to Carroza. Looking to set things up. He dumps the puck behind the net. Intercepted by Murphy, tries to clear it, can't. And then Boyce able to get that puck all the way down. 
Crusaders able to kill that penalty. That dump in. Icing's waved off. Crusaders looking to clear the puck. That, that, that touches the Crusader going through the neutral zone. Dunn back to retrieve the puck. Spins around. Passes up to Medlock. Oh, just under Balumi's stick. Crusaders coming back, 2-1-1. One, one. Oh, my goodness! Couldn't tell if that was Boyce or Fields. Looks like that was Cody Boyce who was able to rip that top shelf over Hardy. Faked the pass. And with 8.08, the Crusaders come back and tie the game. Cam Hyam called for a hand pass. Well, you mean, wins the face off. Puck gets dumped into the zone. Crusader defender tripped on the puck. Crusader's attacking. Pass broken up in the center. Burroughs tried to center that pass. Pass in to Burroughs. Boyce. Shot by Burroughs, miss. Another shot goes wide. Crusader is definitely pressing the attack now. Boyce tries to wrap around. Tries to go short side on Hardy. Gets a paddle down. Crusaders change lines. Roy wins the face off. And we have matching penalties. Thanks for watching today's replay of the Merrimack Tomahawks taking on Memorial Crusaders. The West Side Arena here February 10th. Thanks for watching Merrimack TV. If you don't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Merrimack TV. Follow us on Facebook. You can also watch this on Channel 21 in Merrimack on Comcast. Or you could download Cablecast Screenweave to your Roku or Apple TV device, and you can watch Merrimack TV live 24-7 and select on-demand programs like Tomahawk Sports Games. Go Tomahawks! The bull court behind his goal. Scrumming up with a few Crusaders. Puck clear to the point. Shot goes wide. Throws his pass off to Gualumi. Just a little off his tape. Carrozo behind the net. Trees that puck. Tries to backhand it out. Intercepted by one of the Crusaders. Burgess over the line. Dumps for McIntyre. Oh, centering pass goes just wide. Tomahawk clear to the zone. Roy, Carroza. Can't get a good pass off. Done with the backhand to the point. Shot, things around in traffic. Well, you meet. Puck is still loose. Bodies all over the place. Finally, we get a whistle.
Tomahawks won the faceoff. Shot goes wide from the point. Puck up the boards. Shot, save Hardy. Boyce with that shot. And he tries hacking at Hardy and his teammates didn't take very kindly to that. Rough him up a little bit. Sitters win the draw. Boyce able to cycle the puck down to Burroughs. Burroughs scrumming in the corner there. Tom Ox looking to clear. Burroughs able to maintain control of the puck. That shot by Fields goes wide. Burgess. Tomahawks, a little lax in trying to get that puck. Dunn's getting around. Puck cycles back. Oh, nice. Clear out attempt in front. That shot goes through some bodies. Oh, held in at the point by Tripp. Oh, and that pass. from Connor Dunn to Evan Roy was just a skosh offside. Crusaders win the draw. Dump the puck into the Tomahawk zone to Volcourt. Goes back into the corner, trees the puck. Not able to do a whole lot with it. Pressed by two Crusaders. Puck stays in the Tomahawk zone. Crusaders looking to center. Broken up by Pillsbury. Sadowski. Working that. Eventually Medlock able to get the puck out. Oh, nice save. Well, on that Burroughs shot. Oh, I'm sorry, McIntyre shot. And somehow... Boyce is on the doorstep. Is able to connect with that McIntyre pass right through the slot. And beat Hardy low. And all of a sudden the Crusaders are up McIntyre gets chased, DCL's in. Tomahawks win the draw. Shot by Roy goes wide, centering pass. By Gualyumi. Corral by Wilson. Roy wins the face off, back to Dunn. Dunn's shot. Off of Ducios, who skates down. Oh, and his centering pass, just a, just broken up. Tomahawk's looking to clear. But goes out the trip. And it gets dumped in by Murphy. Roy, on the breakout, passes across to Golyumi. His shot. Glove down by Wilson. 
with just over three and a half left in the third. Andy, I said it earlier, this might be the most exciting Tomahawks game we've had yet. This has been a good game. Yeah, a, little, a real good game. A little chippy, though. Refs have let some stuff go. I'm sure Not you're going to enjoy watching the replay on this one. Not that I'm trying to sound like a Tomahawks homer or anything like that. Burroughs attempting to get a shot off. That's blocked. Tomahawks looking to clear. Sadowski down the left side. Trying to gain control of the puck. Goes into the corner. Oh, he scores! Sam Giles! On oh, the pass from behind. Sadowski with a pass from behind the goal. And Sam Giles. Tomahawks tie the score. Giles dumps the puck in. Shetty's looking to clear the puck. And they do. Now we have an odd man attack. Oh my goodness. Burgess able to wheel and deal on the odd man rush. Get that pass over to his teammate. Who's able to roof it over a sprawling Ben Hardy and just like that. Crusaders take back the lead. Tom Hawks looking to control the puck. Burgess down the right side. Puck goes in front. Back to the point. They will keep the puck in the zone. Shot by Tripp goes wide. Tom Hawks looking to clear. Well, he'll be broken up by Murphy. Down with the puck. Passes up to Medlock. Mix in the zone. Murphy back to retrieve. Crusaders struggling to get the puck out of their zone. Medlock on given chase. Intercepted by Roy up the, the boards. Golhumi pressing. Shot blocked. Puck comes off the boards. Wilson's able to smother and stop play with a buck 48 left in the third. I have to wonder if Coach Dan will pull Hardy. to go with the extra attacker. Shoot, oh, shot wide by Giles. Tom Hawks looking to pass. Carroza in traffic. Oh, D Sadowski. Dumped in front. Crusaders clear the puck and just dump the puck around. Minute 30 left. Puck goes into the corner. Carroza comes away with it. Starts skating out of his zone. Trying to wheel and deal. Getting around some defenders. Gets tripped up. And we're going to have a penalty. Slashing on the Crusaders. Chase Vidala. So the Tomahawks will end the period on the power play and go with the extra attacker. 
six on four with a minute nine left. Let's see what they can do. Oh, and they're able to get the puck out as it bounces over two Tomahawk players' sticks. Sadowski, Carroza, Medlock in the zone. Down the left side, passes across. Oh, that hit some sticks and bounced. Sadowski doesn't get good wood on that shot. Held in by Dunn. Shoots. That puck hits a bunch of players in front. Cycle. Sadowski. Oh! Roy just couldn't get it. Puck's on the side of the net. Puck comes out in front. We got some bodies. Somehow Wilson was able to get control of that puck. Stop play with 23.4 seconds left on the clock. Tom Ox win the face off. Pressing, looking to get that puck in front. Puck goes up, goes down, get. Shot wide, Carroza. And that's the game, folks. Thank you so much for joining us for today's replay on Merrimack TV. We just saw the Merrimack Tomahawks taking on the Memorial Crusaders. Typically, we'd probably banter back and forth for a bit, Andy, but I've, I've got go. a girls varsity, varsity basketball team to get to and get live on the channel. But thank you so much for being here today. My pleasure. Do you have Nick. any final thoughts? Well, wrapping it up from Westside Arena, Tomahawks suffer a six to five loss to the hands of the Crusaders. Great game by both teams. Look forward to the broadcast, the replay. Nick, we'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks so much, Andy. Thank you for watching Merrimack TV, your community, your voice.